can you solve this mystery? This is a story about two young girls, Mandy and Melissa, who were identical twins. But one day they were kidnapped by an unknown man. No one knew who the kidnapper was, but something isn't adding up here. All the clues to what really happened are hidden in what I'm about to say. So Mandy and Melissa were born to a very rich family. They lived in a large mansion with their father and older brother. Everyone was jealous of these girls because their father loved them so much and gave them everything that they wanted and all of his attention. But one tragic night, the girls were taken. When they woke up, they were blindfolded and tied to chairs so they couldn't see a thing. They were terrified. Suddenly, Mandy heard a high-pitched voice whispering in her ear. It was the kidnappers. He said, I've contacted your parents and I'm demanding one million dollars ransom. If you try to escape, I will kill Melissa. Then Melissa heard the same voice whisper in her ear. He said, I contacted your parents and I'm demanding one million dollars ransom. If you try to escape, I will kill Mandy. So who kidnapped the twin girls and why did they do it? Can you solve this mystery? Welcome to another part of disturbing myths you didn't know about. Once a young man heard a knock on his door. He opened it to find a distressed young woman who said she ran away from her abusive husband. He thought she was harmless so he let her in his house. The next morning, the young man was on his daily walk when a priest came up to him and said that he was in danger. Feeling suspicious, he cut his walk off short and went home. As he approached his bedroom, he saw a demon with chalk white skin and white hair adding the final touches onto a sheet of painted skin spread on his bed. He hid behind the door trying not to be seen. Then he saw her pulling the skin over her head and transform into the young woman. The young man went back to the priest but he couldn't save him. One night the demon snuck up on him and ate his heart before disappearing into the night. The fox demon from ancient Chinese mythology is a demon who disguises herself as a beautiful young woman. She lures men with her looks and powers of persuasion, then eats their hearts and livers to nourish her human disguise, which she has to paint her human features onto. Make sure to follow for the next part of Disturbing Myths. Can you solve this mystery? This is a story about two young girls, Mandy and Melissa, who were identical twins. But one day they were kidnapped by an unknown man. No one knew who the kidnapper was, but something isn't adding up here. All the clues to what really happened are hidden in what I'm about to say. So Mandy and Melissa were born to a very rich family. They lived in a large mansion with their father and older brother. Everyone was jealous of these girls because their father loved them so much and gave them everything that they wanted and all of his attention. But one tragic night, the girls were taken. When they woke up, they were blindfolded and tied to chairs so they couldn't see a thing. They were terrified. Suddenly, Mandy heard a high-pitched voice whispering in her ear. It was the kidnappers. He said, I've contacted your parents and I'm demanding one million dollars ransom. If you try to escape, I will kill Melissa. Then Melissa heard the same voice whisper in her ear. He said, I contacted your parents and I'm demanding one million dollars ransom. If you try to escape, I will kill Mandy. So who kidnapped the twin girls and why did they do it? Can you solve this mystery? Have you ever eavesdropped on someone else's conversation? For one woman who is a psychiatrist, her eavesdropping on her neighbors would lead to something terrifying. So this woman moved into an apartment and noticed that there was a family of three living next to her. They were a married couple in their 60s and their son who was about 30. The son, however, barely left the house, and the psychiatrist would often hear the mother yelling and the couple arguing. Eventually, the son wouldn't leave the house for years, but one day, everything changed. The father knocked on the psychiatrist's door looking devastated. He said his family needed her help, so she went with him to their apartment where their mother was waiting. Then the couple let to their son's room where the mother banged on the door and said we're coming in the son was still in bed sleeping then the mother started yelling are you going to sleep forever you lazy good for nothing and grabbed a golf club and began beating the son sleeping beneath the covers the psychiatrist was shocked and pulled the mother off of her son but that was not nearly the most terrifying part when the psychiatrist tried to check if the son was hurt she pulled back the covers and saw a mummified corpse then the father said it's my wife who needs help this has been going on for years and i can't take it anymore what are you willing to do to stay young forever? Once there was a beautiful Malaysian woman, but she was never quite satisfied with her appearance. So she decided to go to a shaman who told her that through black magic and rituals, she could be young and beautiful forever. He gave her a potion to drink and told her that she couldn't look in the mirror for 30 days. However, this woman was curious. Every time she touched her face, she could feel her wrinkles disappearing. Everyone she met told her that she looked great. So on the 29th day, her curiosity was too much. So she took a glimpse of herself in the mirror. The mirror instantly cracked and so did her face. She turned into a horrible monster, all because of her curiosity. So she went back to the shaman hoping that he could help her reverse this terrible mistake. But he said that she can only reverse her looks if she drank the blood of the young. And if she didn't do that, then she would have to live as a monster for the rest of her life. Legend says that she's still out there somewhere, roaming around looking for her next target, all so that she can be young and beautiful again. 
This is why you should never try to investigate when you hear strange noises. Once there was a boy named Tom who was walking to school when he saw a photo lying on the grass outside. He picked it up and saw it was of one of the most beautiful girls he'd ever seen. She was wearing a dress, red shoes, and had her hands formed into a peace sign with two fingers up. When he got to school, he showed the picture to his friends in hopes that they would know who she was, but no one knew. That night, he woke up to strange tapping noises on his window. It sounded like someone had crawled up to his window and was tapping on it with their nails. He saw a faint shadow, but ignored it and tried to go back to sleep. The next night, he heard the tapping noise again. This time, he got up and tried to go outside to investigate, but right as he ran out, he was hit by a car. The driver came out of the car and tried to help him, but it was too late. He then found the picture next to his body. He saw a girl holding up three fingers. This man's wife left him, but not for the reasons he thought. Once there was a couple who just got married in Paris. They were very happy together, but the wife had one secret she didn't tell her husband yet. She had a birthmark on her face. She'd been wearing makeup to cover it, but she thought once she showed her husband, she would know whether he truly loved her. So after they got married, she took off her makeup and showed him. He was surprised, but he wasn't going to let that change anything. However, the next morning, his wife was gone. Her husband thought that she must have felt upset due to how surprised he looked when he saw her birthmark. Or maybe she had second thoughts. After months Months of getting no reply, he finally gave up on trying to look for her. He was heartbroken, but after a few years, he got a new job in a different city. He wanted a fresh start in life, but things didn't go as planned. He came across a strange looking circus called the House of Oddities. This made him very curious, so he went in, but what he saw inside would shock him. Among the other circus acts, he saw a twisted woman rocking back and forth, looking terrified. He screamed as he recognized the birthmark on her face. Do you know the dark origins behind the fairy tales we all grew up hearing? In this series, I'm going to draw each fairy tale and tell you the original scary stories they were based on. Today, we're going to talk about Rapunzel. So in the original, Rapunzel's dad stole herbs from the witch's garden for his wife, and when he got caught, he agreed to give Rapunzel to the witch. Rapunzel is then trapped in the witch's tower, until one day, a prince hears her singing in the tower, so she lets her hair down. This is the part we all grew up hearing about, but things take a much darker turn from here. The prince visits Rapunzel in secret, and the witch only finds out when Rapunzel Rapunzel gets pregnant and can't hide it anymore. In a fit of rage, the witch cuts Rapunzel's hair and uses it to lure the prince back into the tower. There, she throws him off and into a bush of thorns, which blinds him. After that, the prince ends up wandering around the country for years. But then Rapunzel, who's now a mother to twins, eventually finds him. When they reunite, Rapunzel's tears heal the prince's eyes. So I guess it kind of is a happy ending. Though it did take a lot of intense turns to get there. Let me know which fairy tale you want me to cover next and follow if you want to see more. This is why you need to watch out for the shy ones. I'm European and when I was 16, I attended a Catholic high school in the States. All of it was new to me and I felt like I was in a teen movie sometimes. Another new thing to me was having to change classes every hour. Where I'm from, you sit five hours at the same desk with the same people nearby and just the professors alternate every hour. I sat next to this guy named Mark in my English class. He was nice and friendly despite being introverted. It amazed me that whenever I talked to him, he never looked me in the eye. He would always look around or at the ground, often moving his eyes quickly. I assumed it was a way to combat his shyness. One morning, I sit next to Mark as usual and start talking. I asked him if I could copy his homework as I didn't finish the last part of mine and he kindly accepted. The next day, I noticed that Mark is absent. A few days go by and rumors start circulating in the hallways that poor Mark, on his way home, found his mother dead. Two weeks pass and the rumors start getting out of hand. Things like how his mother's head was in the oven or that she was robbed. Then one day, Mark came back to school and he seemed extremely sad. I put my arm around him in class and told him I'm sorry. This is when, for the first time ever, he looked me straight in the eye and thanked me. However, something about this was off. Do you like taking pictures of your friends and family? One woman took photos of her daughter, but what she saw after the photos were developed was terrifying. So her daughter always dreamt of being a ballerina, until one tragic day when she fell ill. The doctor said that she didn't have long. She quickly lost a lot of energy and soon could barely leave her bed. But one day, when her mother came into her room, she was dancing again. Her mother was so happy. She grabbed her film camera and began taking photos, and soon after, something horrifying happened. Her daughter's eyes rolled back and she fell on the floor. She was quickly taken to the hospital, where doctors said that she succumbed to her illness because the dancing was too much for her heart to handle. However, when her mother developed the photos that she took earlier just to remember her daughter by, she could not believe what she saw. In every picture, she saw a dark shadow standing behind her daughter, clutching her head and pulling her back and forth. Something in her daughter's room was forcing her to dance. 
Do you know the dark origins behind the fairy tales we all grew up hearing? Today we're talking about the original scary story of Hansel and Gretel, which was actually a reflection of the real horrors of the Great Famine of 1315, when many people took extreme measures to survive. It's during this time that Hansel and Gretel's parents abandoned them in the woods. It was only in later editions that the mother became the evil stepmother character. Hansel takes breadcrumbs and leaves them behind, but they're eaten by birds, so they wander into the cottage built of candy where they meet the witch. The next morning, the witch locks up Hansel and makes Gretel feed him a lot of food while she gets only crab shells. Once the witch decides that Hansel is ready to be eaten, she makes Gretel open the oven to see if it's hot enough. Gretel pretends to be confused so the witch has to demonstrate. When the witch leans into the oven, Gretel pushes her in and shuts the door. They take the witch's belongings and find their way home, but the interesting part is, after the witch is defeated, Hansel and Gretel's mother dies of unknown causes, suggesting a kind of connection between the witch and the mother. One survived by abandoning her children, and the other survived by eating others, both in some ways motivated by desperation. But which fairy tale should I talk about next? Follow to see the rest of the series. There's no way home, and I have no mercy There's no way up, so I'm going down Still I keep on living, so you pull me closer 